To use the words of Zippy Livni in one of the many meetings documented by the Palestine Papers, the fate of Jerusalem is the core of the core of the core issue. Now, if that's the case, the epicenter is what Muslims call Haram al-Sharif. Here it is in the old city of Jerusalem. It contains the Al-Aqsa Mosque, Islam's third holiest site, and it's known to Jews as the Temple Mount, and they refer to the Haram's containing wall right here as the Western Wall, considered Judaism's holiest site. Now, the last time it was open for discussion was at Camp David in 2000. After a failure to reach a peace deal there, then PLO leader Yasser Arafat assured the world that no Palestinian or Arab leader would ever concede its sovereignty. Now, nearly a decade later, the Palestinian Authority's strategy on this may be shifting. Let's review a meeting on October 21st, 2009 at the U.S. State Department in Washington, D.C. Here's what Dr. Saab Erekat had to say to Senator Mitchell's negotiating team. Dr. Erekat, even the old city can be worked out, except for the Haram and what they call Temple Mount. There you need the creativity of people like me. The State Department's top legal advisor, Jonathan Schwartz, shoots back, discuss Jerusalem with the borders or separate. Erekat, for the old city, sovereignty for Palestine, except the Jewish quarter and part of the Armenian quarter, the Haram can be left to be discussed. There are creative ways, he continues, of having a body or committee, having undertakings, for example, not to dig. He then goes on to joke, the only thing I cannot do is convert to Zionism. Now, it appears Senator Mitchell enters the room. Jonathan Schwartz recaps to confirm to Senator Mitchell your private idea. Ericott, this conversation is in my private capacity. Schwartz, we've heard the idea from others, so you're not the first to raise it. Here it gets a little sketchy. Ericott, others are not the chief negotiator of the PLO. Schwartz, I meant this gives you cover, that it's not you who raised it. So you would separate Jerusalem from the border? Ericott, no, but we use Clinton parameters, except for the Haram, separate from the border. Now, that's important. Let's have a look at what this means on the ground for the people who live there. This is the old city, and if you look right here, this is the 67 borders. This area in here, that's what's referred to as no man's land. This is Israel today. This is occupied East Jerusalem. If the entire Jewish quarter and part of the Armenian quarter is conceded to Israel, like this right here, then the Muslim and Christian quarters would remain Palestinian, this area here in red. Now, it does a couple of things. Dr. Erekat's formulation redraws Israel's border right up to the containing wall of the Haram al-Sharif. That's about 600 meters deeper inside occupied East Jerusalem. And it gives them a foothold in the Western Wall, second by saying that the Haram al-Sharif be negotiated separately from the rest of Palestine's 67 borders that implicitly calls into question Palestinian ownership. As it stands now, it's clearly within occupied East Jerusalem. Third, the approach of delaying the issue for a rainy day only opens the way for an internationally brokered deal, which almost always benefits Israel. Finally, by postponing the problem, the most sensitive issue of the conflict, Erekat leaves it undecided, unsolved, and very vulnerable to continued Israeli control.